Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday the 19th of February. Indian farmers pause protest to evaluate centre's new MSP plan. Women and children take to streets in Gilgit, Baltistan over power outages. And Taliban rejects human rights breaches in Afghanistan. And now for all the details. In a bid to break the deadlock with the protesting farmers, Indian government on Sunday night offered guaranteed support prizes for pulses, corn and cotton, urging protesters to halt their march 200 kilometers short from New Delhi. Making the announcement, India's Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal said the government had proposed five-year contracts for a minimum support price to farmers who diversify their crops to grow pigeon peas, black mat pea and red lentils and corn paid by cooperative groups it promotes. The comments followed marathon talks with farmers' unions and a week-long clash of security officials and protesters who are demanding higher prices backed by the law for nearly two dozen crops. The protesting farm unions have said they would decide on the proposal within a day or two after reaching consensus among themselves and their agitation will remain paused until then. जो किसान अपना क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफाई करके या तो तूर दाल बनाए उड़द दाल बनाए मसूर की दाल बनाए या मक्का बनाए उनको पांच साल के लिए एक कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करके एनसीसीएफ और नेफेड गारंटी करेगा कि अगले पांच साल तक जो भी क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफाई करके ये चार प्रोडक्ट्स बनाएगा चार उत्पादन खेती के करेगा उसको ये संस्थाएं एमएसपी पर खरीदेगी जब सरकार कुछ बात के ऊपर विचार विमर्श करने के लिए सोच रही है कुछ बात अपने आप से बोल दी है इसीलिए आज अठारह में उन्नीस बीस का समय मिलेगा और दूसरा जो हमारा कार्यक्रम है 21 ग्यारह बजे वो उधर जो दिल्ली जाने का कार्यक्रम है वो स्टैंड बाय है द टिबिटन सेंटर फॉर ह्यूमन राइट्स एंड डेमोक्रेसी इन इट्स लेटेस्ट रिपोर्ट हैज अक्यूज चाइना ऑफ स्पाइंग ब्लैक मेलिंग एंड थ्रेट्स ऑन इट्स एग्जाइल डायस्पोरा Its spokesperson Tenzin Dawa remarked that the whole process of the report took about two years, and they have tried to get in touch with around 100 Tibetan people. The report states that the transnational repression campaigns have been practiced for decades. Their frequency has significantly increased in recent years. It blames China has strengthened its extraterritorial powers to persecute all perceived sources of opposition. you know sending spies and uh, collecting personal information of tibetans in the diaspora to sort of basically infiltrate the tibetan community outside and then to essentially sort of you know sabotage all of our diaspora networks outside because they view this as a threat so for tibetans like like i said you know the transnational repression faced by tibetan diaspora is is not new The Tibetan government in exile has been functioning in India since 1960 after the current Dalai Lama and many others fled Tibet following a failed uprising against the Chinese occupation of their homeland in 1959. Hundreds of protesters in Balochistan's Quetta on Sunday protested against the alleged poll rigging in Pakistan's recently concluded general election. The sit-in demonstrations outside the deputy commissioner's office began after elections were held earlier this month. The election on February 8 did not return a clear majority for anyone, but independent candidates backed by jailed former Premier Imran Khan won 92 out of 264 seats, making them the largest group. 
questions have been raised about the fairness of the election and there have been demonstrations across the country with protesters alleging election rigging. However, the Election Commission has denied the accusations and said legal forums would address any specific concerns. धरना जो हमारे साथ ना इंसाफी हुई है हमारे दोनों अलकों में पी बी चालीस और पी बी बयालीस में हमारे मैंडेट के खिलाफ जो फैसला हुआ है हम उसके खिलाफ धरने में बैठे हैं जी और हमारे धरने का ये आज आठवां दिन है और हम बैठे रहेंगे जब तक हमारे मुतालबात नहीं पूरे हुए they expressed they face power outages for 22 hours daily, but authorities do not care. A report. Scores of women and their children took to streets in Gilgit, Baltistan recently against daily 22 hours long load shedding, which has paralyzed routine life in the region. The enraged protesters chanted slogans against the government and lamented the bureaucrats and VIPs are provided electricity 24 hours daily through special power lines. But on the other hand, they cannot complete household chores in the absence of electricity and their children are also unable to study. यहाँ लाइट का जो सिस्टम है वो बहुत खराब है लाइट हमें नहीं मिल रही है डेढ़ घंटे की लाइट होती है तो उस डेढ़ घंटे में ना हम कपड़े इसी कर सकते हैं तो ना हम खाना बना बना सकते हैं ना पानी दे सकते हैं आल डेढ़ बर्फ जमी होती है मोटर खराब होती है मशीन खराब होती है तो इस वजह से आज हमें मजबूरन बाहर रोड पे निकलना पड़ा है दे हैव बीन सेवरल प्रोटेस ओवर दीज इशूज इन रिसेंट मंथ बट इस्लामाबाद हैज कंटिन्यू टू इग्नोर पीपल्स प्लाइट सात बजे लाइट जाती है आठ बजे लाइट लिए जाती है तो उस टाइम गिल्टी सिटी में पहले ही जो है बर्फ जमती है और जो मशीनें उनके ऊपर बर्फ जमी होती है उस टाइम जो है हम पानी की जो मशीनें वो ऑन नहीं कर सकते हैं हमारे पास पानी नहीं होता है सबसे बड़ा मसला फिर हमारा दूसरा मसला ये है कि हमारे बच्चे स्कूल में पढ़ते हैं स्कूल जाते हैं उनके यूनिफॉर्म स्त्री नहीं होते वहाँ से जो है टीचर्स की शिकायत आती है Locals blame while Pakistan falsely claims to have granted autonomy to the occupied territory. Elected leaders have no say in policy making and people are denied even basic fundamental rights. Terming the concerns raised against Afghanistan at the Munich Security Conference as baseless, Taliban spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid has said the European countries are trying to convey an unpleasant picture of Afghanistan. Countries that failed in Afghanistan and left the country, they are now trying to provide untrue information to the region through their intelligence. Tolo News quoted the Taliban spokesperson as saying. In a joint statement, foreign ministers of 12 countries, including Germany, Belgium and France, have called out Kabul, terming the situation in Afghanistan as crime against humanity. They urged the de facto authorities to fully comply with international law to safeguard rights and revoke all decisions that restrict the rights of women and girls. So far, no country has officially recognized the Taliban regime due to its restrictive policies, especially against women. In a commendable effort to safeguard the dwindling heritage of Gujar community in India's Jammu and Kashmir, 27-year-old Shahid Khanam from Bandipura has established the region's first tribal museum and skill center. The collection includes traditional ornaments, coins, dresses, utensils and other items. Apart from preserving traditional items, Shahida also offers a formal training of Sozni embroidery, tailoring and designing and crafting traditional jewellery. Over the past 10 months, the centre has empowered more than 40 girls, not only preserving their cultural roots but also enabling them to earn a livelihood. ऐसे मतलब चीजें जो इधर उधर सोचा मैंने देखा कि कौन कौन सी चीज हमारी गुम हो गई है उसको मैं एक बार फिर से ला के नए से जिंदा करूं जी तो कितने दिन आपको लगे इन मटेरियल्स को कलेक्ट करने में मेरा तो पिछले एक साल से यही काम है पिछले साल दिसंबर में मैंने ये स्टार्ट किया था तो अभी तक थोड़ी थोड़ी चीजें मैंने जमा करके रखी है अच्छा जो यहाँ पे जो लड़कियाँ सीखने आती है जिन्होंने सीखा है शुक्र अलहमदुल्ला हम हमें उम्मीद है की हम अपने कल्चर को आगे लेके जाएंगे That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.